Uh, in today's video, we'll uh, discuss about turn mill center. A turn mill with X, Z and C axis. So it can be called as a three axis machine. So we will discuss about C axis milling using an axial milling cutter. C axis milling using a radial milling cutter and C axis drilling using a radial drill. So we are going to discuss the basic concepts. Now you can see this figure. To make a rectangular block on a turn mill center with C axis. So the coordinates are marked. So there are different ways of uh, programming this. You can either do the programming by using X and C or there is another method where there is a transformation used where the coordinates are marked in C, Y, but the milling will happen in Y. So the calculation of the coordinates will be done by the controller. Now we'll see this. You can see the moments. So the cutter is rotating and you can notice each movement of the tool. So to each position, the cutter is moved. So for some time, X will be moving towards the center and later you will notice that the X is moving out. So the cutter is in one position. The movement is only the X axis because cutter cannot go up and down because there is no Y axis. That is the basic limitation of uh, this particular uh, machine with only C axis. Observe the tool motion. Now X axis moving towards the center and the C axis is rotating to achieve the coordinates. Now it started moving outside. So it going outside the center. X axis is moving. So this is how a C axis milling is done by axial milling cutter. Now we'll see the C axis milling by using a radial milling cutter. Actually, there is a limitation which uh, we will see using this animation. We'll see, we'll try to understand. You can see there is a fouling. When the cutter is positioned to a particular coordinate, it is removing material from the other side. So for each movement, the cutter will be removing some extra material, some fouling will happen.
so the red color denotes the extra material removed so this is the limitation of c axis milling using a radial milling cutter so what is the solution now if you use a end mill which is bigger than the area to be milled then you can use this radial milling method now another method is by using a ball end mill we can see the tool moves to each coordinate but there is no fouling so the movement will be like a 3d movement so mostly you will need a software to make the program now we we'll look at the radial drilling here in this figure you can notice that the axis of the hole is offset from the axis of the part center of the part so there is an offset so the limitation of uh, c axis drilling will have a look at now the position is aligned so you can notice that the drill cannot move up and down the only way to align is moving the x axis and moving the c axis so now it is aligned to the hole center and when we do drilling the drill will pass in an axis parallel to the center so it is aligned to the center always whereas in this case the drill required is offset to the center axis so this is not possible in a c axis turn mill center 